What's up guys, that's smell tip, which means you dealt it. Today has been pretty interesting because we have another exploiter assisted streak getting banned. Now before anyone says anything, yes, this streak was already restored because Fanmay went ape shit on the devs. It didn't last long though because after like 10 disasters he died to Catajiller. So what is an exploiter assisted streak? Well, it's pretty fucking self-explanatory. It's where an exploiter helps you with a streak in any way with exploits. Now, this could be something as simple as using R fog or remove fog during mystery disasters to call out what disaster it is. Or it could be some weird ass healing wand squad shit on the player like what was happening today. Now, let me get this out of the way real quick. If you are asking an exploiter to help you and you are receiving an unfair advantage from said exploiter, that is cheating. You might not have been the one to start the card, but you sure as hell drove it. But that's not usually what happens. Most of the time, someone will start streaking and somewhere in the middle, an exploiter will join and start helping, even though the person streaking doesn't want their help. So then you get into a situation where someone is actually benefiting from exploits, but it's not in their control. Then you have to make a decision as a developer to punish the person who benefited from the exploits even though they had no control over it or punish the rest of the players by not doing anything about it and allowing someone to gain an unfair advantage. Both options are a lose-lose. If you choose to punish the person who benefited from the exploits, you're going to have what happened today in FanMade with everyone going batshit crazy. And if you choose to do nothing and let that streak go, then people will start to abuse the hell out of that and it's going to discourage the legitimate players who watch these clearly cheated streaks surpass their personal best. Like I said, it's a lose-lose. You pick one way, a group of people dislike your decision. You pick the other, another group of people dislike your decision. But let's back up for a second. I want you to look at this picture. This picture doesn't show it, but this guy is an S rank 4 with master rank at 800-something pacifist streak. Knowing that there's an influx of cheaters in the game at the moment, is it really unreasonable to look at this and assume this guy's cheating? I mean, not to mention the fucking healing staffs all around him about to gangbang his ass. And if you look at the chat, it looks like he's putting in a command to control the healing staff. It's pretty damn reasonable to think this guy's cheating and ban him. Obviously, with hindsight, we know he wasn't and that it was someone else helping him, but what I'm saying is Virus's perspective is pretty reasonable. I think a lot of people forget that, like, Virus is not a god and can make mistakes. What shocked me, though, is FanMade's response. FanMade started flaming Virus at Mina, which I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty fucking funny seeing FanMade go on its evil arc. Now, was the shit FanMade was doing right? No, some of the shit said was just fucking mean and it was pretty uncalled for for just a simple mistake that was fixed in like 30 minutes. But I'd be a dirty fucking liar if I said that shit wasn't funny. I've never seen fan made so collectively angry and rambunctious toward the devs. It was like its own little event and it was pretty fucking fun. So what should you take away from this video? Don't be a cunt unless it's justified. Oh, if any fan made mods are watching, which I'm sure one of you are, stop fucking banning me. I literally hardly chat there unless it's something interesting, which today was. I literally just want to see the update and announcement channel, so just unban my main and permanently mute me. I feel like that's simpler than having to constantly ban my alts. Or just let me back in, it's been like fucking two years. 